In this video, I'll be looking at logic super noise gate and explaining how you can use it creatively in your own productions. Noise gate is commonly used to suppress unwanted noise. We can hear it in our first example. To the moon. Now we can use noise gate to remove background noise. You can find it in audio effects in dynamics section. Now let's work with the noisy part first. Signals that fall below the threshold are reduced in level. You can use reduction knob to set the amount of signal reduction. Now let's compare before and after. To the moon. To the moon. We can move to our next example, a drum loop. In this case, we will use noise gate to isolate some sounds of the loop. Rapid opening and closing of the gate is causing these abrupt level changes. Hysteresis slider is used to set the range between the threshold values that open and close the gate. The attack, hold and release let you modify the dynamic response of noise gate. How fast it opens, how long it holds and how long it takes it to release. You can also use the sidechain controls, the high cut and low cut filters, to isolate frequencies that trigger the gate. Next we can look at how we can use this tool creatively. Here is a simple synth drone. And a hi-hat pattern. In this example we are going to use hi-hat to open and shut the noise gate. First we need to rotate the hi-hat as a sidechain. And just like this, you can use any drum loop to create rhythmic patterns. Now let's look at our last example. We can use this bass drum to duck the synth, or reduce its volume, in other words, every time it hits. Now you know how to use noise gate.